Hello YouTube, Robin Hood Bricks here, and today we've got another brick haul, hopefully with some ballast inside, from bricklink.com. I'll just cut into this. Looks like they've used an old Lego box. Ah, ballast, ballast, and some other stuff that the shop had. So, in no particular order, we've got a huge bag of about 70 2 by 4 bricks in dark bluish grey, which is for the ballast of my railway line. I've basically miscalculated, uh, and I've got enough ballast for three sides, uh, but not for the fourth, for some reason. So this should be enough to fill in everything I need. So these are for the bits in between the slats, in the middle, which I put the little round light bluish grey studs on, and then sixes and eights, of which this is just a huge bag of sixes, make up the outside. So I do that on each of the boundaries of the uh, track pieces just to raise them up. So this should be all I need to completely finish my railway. Oh, apart from I obviously need some sleepers as well. So I got all the sleepers he had. And as you know, I use two by four tiles in reddish brown. Now, I do think I'm going to be short a small number of these, possibly, and possibly also short a couple of the one by two brown uh, tiles that go on the outside little bits of the sleepers. Um, but that won't stop it all being firmly in place and it won't uh, cause any derailments like we had when we did part two of the bridge. So um, very happy with that. that. This was the main reason for the order. I basically went around all the stores that had enough of these and these uh, to fill my needs. And then I went for the cheapest one of those. And then I just, as I always do, reviewed everything they had for sale just to see if there's anything I wanted, either on price for a project or just a speculative buy. So one speculative buy was a sticker, which is the mirror piece. So there we go, that's a friend's mirror sticker. And I was thinking of maybe using that in a uh, pet groomers. I know they have some sets in the friends range which are pet groomers and it's got a paw print on it. So that sort of fits with that. I'm not certain I will have that uh, as a business, but um, you know, it's only a few pennies. So I thought, why not? It's easy to get the things when you see them. I've got four of the gray one by four by three panels. And this is just thinking ahead for my next subway station because I've used four of these for the maps in my current subway station. So I thought if I got the four pieces for the next one, that would make sense. Then I've also got a big bag of inverted slopes in light bluish gray. Now I'm using these at the top of my marina wall uh, and the wall that sort of links the cliffs underneath the bridges all the way up to the marina as well. And there may be a similar bit on the other side uh, in between the subway station and the beach. So I need a few more of those, but those pieces are very useful. I can also use them uh, for subway stairs just by sort of stacking them that way. Uh, so we'll see uh, what I use those for, but there's plenty of potential uses. Mixed bag here, a couple of long Technic pieces. They were probably cheap, which is why I got them. Ah, now these curved and straight fence pieces are for something I'm designing at the moment. I saw them for a good price. So I thought I'm almost certainly going to need those. So I'm not gonna tell you exactly what that is at the moment, but these, so I've got hopefully three curves. Yep, three curved ones. And I probably need some more straight ones, but there are three there. And they're just going to be uh, adding to a modular I'm designing. 
So, there you go, that's all the clue I'm giving you. Then a few bricks that are probably quite cost effective. Uh, white 1x4s. I think they're for, yes, they are. They're for a facade I'm building. And talking of that facade, here's a whole bag of 1x2x2 trans panel pieces. I won't get all these out. Oh, go on then, I will. So there's a load of those, and actually we've got a few of these shoe, two by two, sort of inverted tile, sort of rounded things, uh, pieces as well. But these are going to form the balconies of the modular, not modular, facade building that I'm going to be building soon. I think I've almost got the pieces to do my next two facades, which are going to go on that back wall. So we've got the uh, Ari's Deli, then we've got the big uh, black tall skyscraper and I'm going to do two more that will get us a lot of the way along towards the Vesta's wind turbine. That whole wall is going to be filled in with uh, facades before we're done. Well, I'm definitely not opening this bag. This bag is loads of Technic pins. Just needed 50 of those because in making that blue bridge I used every single one except for one that I had of black Technic pins. So I need some of these to make the next bridge, presumably, because I'll be using Technic on that. I haven't even got enough to hold the sort of black 1x8 Technic brick supports together. So that was a vitally important uh, bag of stuff as well. Then another mixed bag. Right, interesting pieces here. So this is... Uh, a nice piece. It's sort of the overhead bit of a gantry, so you'd have a sort of a column sort of holding up that side uh, and a column sort of holding up that side and you'd probably use one of those um, support pieces that's got the sort of similar sort of zigzag structure as this. Uh, and I've actually got two of these now and I don't know what I'm going to use them for exactly but I do think that two of them could go over the railway line and you might be able to hang uh, you know, train traffic lights off them or even use them as the supports for a pedestrian walkway bridge or something like that over the railway lines. I mean, it's good because it's what, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 long. Yep. Uh, so, you know, it's a, it's a good good length for doing that sort of thing. So, yeah, so it, it works obviously that way. And it's very interesting and good looking shape, if you ask me. Then I've got a 1x16 brick and white with the surf shop logo on. Now, uh, I've already got that piece on my surf shop, but there's another 1x16 on the back of that shop that doesn't have a sign, so I'm going to swap this for that. So there's a sign on the front entrance and the back entrance of that shop because it's sort of uh, deliberately open. Uh, and then I can use the one that I replace for another job. Then I thought I had a purple skateboard because I needed one. Um, because I got the stickers in a recent haul, if you remember this, I got that sticker for the skateboard uh, from set 79105, Baxter's Robot Rampage, and I thought I had a blank um, purple skateboard to stick it on, but I didn't. So that's something I, need, I needed to rectify. Then I've got a lot of 1x4 tiles with tread plate stickers on. So one, two, three, four, five of those. And two more. Oh no. Six. And three more on dark bluish grey tiles. So they're good. I use those, as you probably know, for my um, steps. Oh no, here's some more. Look. Seven and four then. Uh, for the stairs of my subway. So that makes them look very attractive and nice and shiny and so on. So very good. Then I've got hopefully two of these. Mm -mm -mm. Anyone see it? No. Oh, I, I can see it in another bag. But there's two of these, maybe one's used and one's new, uh, which are basically supermarket checkout or self-checkout sort of screens. And as you know, I'm planning to do a supermarket or a little convenience store type supermarket as well. So I thought these would go really well with that. They're from the Heartlake Food Market set 
Full 1108 from 2015, which is obviously a friend set. I got these for the stickers as well. They're just one by two by five bricks, but they've got this World Unity Festival on, so it could be a festival that's on in Brick Nottingham. They're from set 1376, Spider-Man Action Studio, which is quite an old set, 2002, so I've got two of those. Then this I really liked. It's a brown sort of modified tile with clips on, uh, and it's obviously got a wooden old looking sign with a lock on it. That's from the set 79013, Lake Town Chase. A Hobbit set from uh, 2013. But the reason why I got it is because it's exactly the same sort of look to it as the two signs for the stable and the blacksmith that make up part of my Medieval Market Village set, 10193. And obviously I've got the blacksmith underneath Castle Rock and I'm using the stable sign in the castle itself. And I just thought that this could be marking a stairway for the dungeon where we've got the ghost or something like that, or maybe even a locksmith. So I haven't decided which yet or where this is actually going to hang, but it is almost, even though it's from a completely different range, it's almost like it's, a, you know, the third one of a set. So, um, so I'm really happy to get that. I've actually had that on a wanted list for a while, but it's not a very common piece. That's excellent. I glossed over this, which is a cloth piece, which is just the raggedy cloth from the Spectre series minifigure from series 14. Uh, and that's the sort of ghost. I mean, it, it's not my favorite minifigure to be honest, but when you see them really cheap, you end up filling in the gaps in your collection. So um, the one I got, because I got it secondhand, didn't have a cloth and here was a cloth. Two by two tile with an arrow on. That's not straight. That'll need moving, won't it? Using my patented hot tea technique. I think a lot of these will, to be honest. So I think that was everything in that bag. Last bag. Yes, so there's the other one of those supermarket signs. Or computer screens. Got a lot of bin lids, because I seem to have a lot more rubbish bins, trash can sort of bins as I do lids. So I've got some green, light gray and dark gray bin lids to sort of make up for that. I've also got the torso from the series 15 flying warrior. And the reason why I got this is because I was going to do a, a warm gold colored statue and I got a plain warm gold torso, legs, head, and I was going to use the fancy helmet that comes with the same uh, series minifigure, actually, with the wings on. Um, and I thought, well, this, this is better in a way because it's sort of got the sort of breastplate on the front. Because I thought it'd be something like Apollo, uh, you know, the Roman god, which might be sort of a subject matter of a statue. And this one has got yellow arms and yellow hands. But I thought I could rip off the arms in a barbaric way and put on the warm gold ones from the warm gold torso and then I would have a completely gold torso statue but with that detail so that's the thinking there and then there's a couple of hair pieces from hidden side sets which I didn't get so I've got one of each of the uh, hair pieces that's new in this uh, spring green color so the big hair is from the Ghost Train Express. I think it was one of the conductors. So when I did my big brick haul with the um, bricks and pieces order, this wasn't available. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with all the hidden side ghost pieces. To be honest, I have now got a sort of set of them all, so I can make a lot of people look uh, very ghostly when I do get round to it. I'm thinking maybe a haunted house in the uh, fairground. Um, but give me your ideas if you've got any. Uh, and this one was from the Ghost Lab set, JB's Ghost Lab 70418. This was 70424. Um, and another set, I think, as well. But that's good. So, as I say, I've got probably enough to do five completely different looking ghosts. Uh, and I've got a couple of those sort of bendy arm pieces. Little brown fez type piece, which I think I'm going to use for a tree. 
few of these Technic bits because I want to be able to move uh, axles around corners for when I'm doing my rides, just like they do on the roller coaster and so on. And that is almost the order. The last bit is this. Now, I haven't seen this before. Oh, I might need my knife to get this out. And it was a bit of an extravagance, to be honest, because it is the brand new 2019 Siren Light and Sound. Now, it's quite an interesting piece. It's, it's only been released with three sets so far, including the fire station, 60215, and then another fire uh, truck and a... Oh, no, it's the big downtown fire set, actually, and, and a police truck. Um, and I didn't want to buy any of those sets because they're quite overpriced and I really don't want anything else in them. But um, I did really want one of these just to put on one of my emergency vehicles. Uh, and you can get them on bricks and pieces, but you'll never guess how much they are on bricks and pieces. £15.82 pence for this. So I didn't get one. But this guy did have one. And his was still quite expensive, if you ask me, but nonetheless, I went for it. This was £5. So uh, that is a bit of a luxury buy. But nonetheless, I've got one now. I'm not sure if I have to pull out a battery tab or if I just press the button. So let's give it a go. Hmm, seems to be ticking, but... Oh, that looks broken to me. Right, I'm going to have to play with that and see if it's broken or if it's um, just me doing it wrong. Right, so the good news is it's all right. It must have just been displaced in transit, the battery, because I've taken off the back. There's two tiny screws in there. I've just taken those off, taken out the battery, put the battery back in, put the screws back in, and... Very good. So I can add that to something like my fire truck 60002. I've already taken off the old siren block. I don't know if this is where it's going to stay, but it's good to show you it on a vehicle. There we go. It's quite big and chunky, but it's good fun. I remember when uh, Light and Sound first came out in the 80s and uh, it was a revelation, so uh, a <laughs> bit of reminiscence there. And then I've added the sticker onto the purple skateboard and it's really iridescent and quite shiny and, and nice, so I really like that. It looks quite luxurious black, so very good there as well. So there we have it, another good haul. And I realised I missed something. Got two tentacles in the glow in the dark colour, sort of off white, but it is glow in the dark. And these are the last two I need for my um, large jellyfish, which, if you remember, I was building from another brick hall using the pieces from the uh, Shark Army jellyfish guy with a trans red head inside, a couple of modified bricks, and a trans aerial for it all to sort of stand on. And I was short two. So here we go, one, and two, and there we have it, a jellyfish. I might try and see if I can get it glowing in the dark and then give you a clip with the lights off as well. How cool's that? Of course, you have to uh, charge it under a light and if you put it in a sort of a deep dark corner it'll never get enough light to glow this well but it's still quite remarkable that it works as well as it does to be honest so uh, there you go a fantastic jellyfish so as always thank you very much for watching do remember to like comment and subscribe for more awesome lego videos and on friday We'll be building our continuous curve switch to add more detail and another scene to our railway. See you then!